if I really think about it. Emily Brock is probably the reason why I started to volunteer at the museum. All of a sudden, you know, the light went on and hoping that whatever I do, whether it's taking a photo to archive, a photo of a piece of glass to archive it, or just to be here to, to talk about glass, you know, hopefully that will encourage people to spend more time and really dwell on a piece instead of doing a quick glance. My favorite piece in, um, of all the different pieces that I've seen and photographed and, and shown to um, people while being a docent is the Emily Brock when she's um, looking at a couple of pieces of glass. So the cool thing is she's standing up and her hands are behind her. The pose that she has is exactly the pose that I've been doing so many times, not only in front of glass, but also in front of different art pieces, no matter where, uh, what museum at, I'm at. And that has to do with the dwell time. You know, just standing and looking and drinking in the entire piece, uh, whether it be a glass piece or another piece. The other thing that's interesting about Emily's piece it says it's actually a book. And so it's not a gallery, but it looks like a gallery inside a book. I'm a big lover of books, and so that's another way that it speaks to me, having it in a, in a book form where you can see something again and again if you choose to. So that's what Emily Brock's piece means to me.